The baby that will mean a lover is calling Mobad's son is not Mobad's son. The baby belongs to Sam Larry. The baby was allegedly fathered by Sam Larry. Guys, when will they tell you that in Nigeria cruise, everything is possible? Right now, so um, on social media, don't catch fire. On to say, our Nigerian journalist, Kemi Oluwoyo, don't spark everywhere. As he scatter everywhere, come expose. Will me when he be late, Mubas' wife. When he get one acclaimed son, wow. Kemi Oluwoyo, don't call let us know. Say, oh, um, Mona Sam Larry, now be the real biological papa. Instant Gidiba, with full evidence, as he the odd may I not take much of an attack for not watch Kemi for this matter. Waiting on again justice for mobile because many things they when he they under the carpet when he calls the early arrow IP of this young talented guy. Stay tuned, guys. Make on a watch. It's calling mobile son, is not mobile son. The baby belongs to Sam Larry. The baby was allegedly fathered by Sam Larry. And I told the police that this might be where you want to start your investigation. I spoke to four sources. They told me this is where it all started and this is why. I said, well, we have a music industry issue here. We have a discrepancy between an artist who wants to come out of a contract and take his royalties as well. I said, that, that's just a side show. The problem started with the pregnancy. When we lived in the Malian house with Mobad, at least when they were there, she was known to have sex with possibly all the guys in the house. Nobody likes to say these things out because it's disgraceful. Go and look at what they're writing about me and just love her comments. I had three children for three men. I don't know who put these things on the internet. I have three children for two guys. Sometimes they say four children for four men. Sheikh Tony Lawani doesn't have three children for three men. Or why is it me they're picking on? Is it not circumstances that make you leave one man and go to the other one? Like domestic abuse? Sheikh Ibn Abu Fabrisima doesn't have four children for four men. And you're picking on me? Of course. Of course. Gift Wukoma says, I trust your investigation. Anyone can go with what they want to say. Somebody said it's not true. Well, you know it's true very soon. There's a DNA report. When the fighting started, a very big businessman in Dubai is one of the big Dubai Bitcoin men. They call them Bitcoin Yahoo boys. He invited everybody to Dubai. They did the tickets. I called everybody from tra the travel agent to the person that picked them up to I, everybody I spoke to. It was tedious. That's why that video I'm uploading is so annoying. It's taking it long. I was just sleeping halfway during the video. I was like really in pain. So I had to take my time all the coding and I was drowsy. So I decided to go live. So they all agreed that they should do a paternity test. So they did a DNA test. Who brought out the DNA stuff? Who initially brought it out? Someone online that possibly noticed the resemblance between Sam Larry and the child. And they put it online, circled both heads, and they were trolling Sam Larry. When I saw that picture, I made my own picture and I circled him and the child. There was a resemblance. There are people who know things and they don't want to go to the police because they're scared. So if you're screen recording, go ahead and screen record. Just credit Kemi Talks Facebook. Credit Kemi Talks, tag me Facebook. So what basically happened was all parties showed up. It's like what happened with the widow and the baby mama, the first one, and Imadi, the second one. Everybody showed up the DNA. They organized, the person that organized the hospital appointment the person that organized the visa, the tickets, the hotel, everything was done. The baby, Wumi, Sam Larry, Mobad, Naira Mali, and Sanusi. Sanusi is the one 
that the very black dark man has been trying to find out who is this guy. Nobody knows. Oh, you guys are ignorant. Nobody knows. All this time I've been showing you. The boy is frustrated now. And I don't want him to divert. I don't want the very black dark man, if the very dark black man to divert because he's excited this morning because the video is following him and the video message him. So he's off path. Don't get excited about that the video one. Okay, there are people that are excited when I come to the DM. They go and frame it, they go and do that. Go back to the work. But the very dark black man tweeted me yesterday and said, hmm, I like Kemi's opinion. You see, the things around us that we don't look at, that we don't focus on, are the things that might be real. You can tag the very dark black man, maybe you can see this, because he watched my other one and he screenshotted it. Yabo's blog, I just love, I turn to and all of them, they, they're feeding information of sympathy and sentiments to their audience. And the audience are ignorant people, so I don't care. I just love how people came on my page. They're very rowdy. Nobody can comment on me. I don't post anything on Instagram, Dr. Kemi Olunlo. I only post it on Kemi Talks now. All my pages on Instagram, no tags, no mentions, no DMs. I just work and no comments. So, when they all showed up, they went and did the DNA test. And the DNA test showed that Sam Larry owned the child. Sam Larry wanted his child from Mobad. We're going to discuss, like I said, some of you can make requests, I'll bring you in. I spoke to Daddy Freeze 30 minutes ago. He was getting ready to do his own live. And I told him, I said, I'm, let me just go on Facebook because maybe later on, if you want to bring me on your night's live, I'll come. So the DNA test reported it was positive. And Sam Larry was determined as the father of the little boy. I mean, look at the resemblance. That's his dad now. So now Mobad was not releasing the baby to Sam Larry. This child was born in April this year. <sighs> Thank you, Any Sunday. Anyone contributing, all the accounts are on the pin. Thank you. I'm just tired this week. I want to like rest. This morning my brain was hurting. It was not a headache. I said my brain, you could feel blood moving. You don't want to have a hemorrhage now. We have a problem. There's 30 million in the account now. I don't know the bank, but what they did during... Do you remember one boy like that, that Daddy Freeze was even helping the father? The father said the child had some kind of disease and they sat down in the middle of the road of Potakot. Baby Benaya, do you remember that? And they raised almost 100 million. And then the baby suddenly died and they went to the airport to go to Dubai for the heart surgery. So the 100 million was shared between the father and all his friends. You know, the father was a police officer. So in the end, I was the one that did that investigation. I called Freeze, I said, Freeze, these were four officers, so they just did a big scam. They cashed out. Remember what happened? Lagos State government told them to freeze the account. Whatever that account, or GT or one of them, they froze the account. In the end, what happened? They unfroze it. Everybody left with their money. He wants his son. You know me? Wumi already knows that, yeah, I slept with everybody. These people have casual sex. They don't use condom, they just do it, they pull out. But she didn't know. So when she got pregnant, she assumed, don't you see these cases? Don't you see these fair women cases? Have we not seen so many on the internet? People raising other people's children and they did DNA and found that they were not their children. We have seen it over and over. And it's real. Paternity fraud. Nigeria is number three now in the world. 
You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, so no, he finally done bust for inside the Obiraga industry. As idiot, where's the Una thing from Kemi Oluroyo? She don't scatter the video, be. Una really believe, say, all these are claims that are real. Una no say, this our Nigerian journalist Kemi, he get the way matter today. But when it comes to this Mubad matter, we almost fight justice for Mubad. And we must get to the root of it, waiting Apple when the early hour burial, just so few hours after the announcement of his RIP, there are many suspicions, many things say under the carpet when he go review. But suppose don't know say Mubad body is spirit strong like Kilo Day. Anyway guys, end your thoughts on the comment section below. Share this update as it is hot and see you guys on my next update in Pizza.